Hello everyone, I'm Xi Yu Zhang. I will introduce our recent work. 3D registration with maximal clicks. This research indicates that traditional geometric methods still have great potential for 3D point color registration. The objective of point color registration is to find a 60 degree of freedom post transformation that aligns point color sequences from different viewpoints into a unified coordinate system. In particular, respondents-based methods are popular solutions to this problem. Here, we focus on estimating an accurate transformation from correspondences without layers to perform registration. Those that out layers are the main challenge to this problem. It has nuisances such as noise and limited overlap, resulting in heavy out layers. In addition, current feature descriptors still hold limited discriminative power, which can further generate outliers. The approaches for point color registration include deep learn and the traditional geometric methods. For deep learned ones, we focus on learn good features, good classifiers, or an end to end network to estimate transformations. However, learned methods require a large amount of training data and GPU resources, and always like good generalization ability across different data modalities. For traditional geometric methods, the maximum click-based methods are very popular. These methods assume that in layers are compatible with each other, so in layers will form the maximum click in the compatibility graph constructed for input correspondences. However, these methods are still prone to have outliers. Our insight is to relax the maximum click constraint and utilize more local consensus information in the graph. We have two motivations. One is that we do not have a perfect compatibility metric to ensure that only in layers are connected in the graph. The other is that in layers also suffer from matching errors, which cannot guarantee that only in layers are connected. This also explains why those maximum click based methods show limited performance. So we propose MIC. It is a novel hypothesis generation method from correspondences with heavy outliers. We demonstrate that MIC is technically very simple, but surprisingly effective. Moreover, MIC can also be served as a booster for deep learned methods. Now I introduce the details. Mac has three main steps, including graph construction, searching maximal clicks, hypothesis generation, and evaluation. One can find that Mac follows the hypothesis generation and the verification pipeline as in one side. The main novelty is to generate hypothesis from maximal clicks rather than random sampling. The first step is graph construction. The motivation behind is that in Euclidean place, Correspondences are irregular and are ordered. To better render the compatibility relationship among correspondences, we model the input correspondences as a graph. In particular, compatible nodes are connected in the graph. The second step is searching for maximal clicks. We perform a quick search based on the iGraph library. However, the number of maximal clicks obtained through the Search process is often in the order of tens of thousands. Therefore, we propose a node guided filtering method for maximal clicks. Since each graph node may be contained in multiple maximal clicks in its vicinity, we assign a weight to each maximal click based on the age weights and then associate the node with the maximal click that has the largest weight. In other words, one node associates only one maximal click. This maximal click depicts the local consensus information around this node. The third step is hypothesis generation and evaluation, just like ransack methods. In particular, each maximal click generates one hypothesis, and the best hypothesis is determined with commonly used hypothesis evaluation matrix such as in and MAE. In the following, we report experimental results. The first dataset is an object-scale dataset called U3M. 
On this data set, Mac significantly name outperforms all competitors. Note that object skill data set has always been overlooked in recent registration papers. Then it comes to the indoor scene data set 3D match on the 3D low match. You can see that Mac achieves the best registration recall and the precision results. Moreover, Mac is significantly better than learned ones, such as Point DSC. The margin is more clear on 3D low match data set with low overlapping data. Moreover, we insert Mac into state of the art, deep learned frameworks, and find that the performance of all learned methods improve. Hence, Mac is also a good gate for deep learned methods. Next, we experiment with the outdoor scene dataset kitty. Again, Mac reaches the best registration results. Next, we present some analysis experiments. First, compared with RANSAC, Mac generates a significantly higher number of correct hypothesis for registration. Although Mac has already reached the sort of performance, it still has a very large room for further improvement. In particular, we assume that we have a perfect hypothesis evaluation metric and the registration is assumed to be successful as long as correct hypotheses are generated. In this case, Mac reaches a re registration recall of 91.24%, outperforming existing SOTA by over 31%. In addition, Mac finishes registration generally in tens of milliseconds with very few memory consumption, so Mac is also very lightweight. To summarize, Mac is a technically very simple method with a few parameters, but it achieves SOTA performance on object, indoor scene, and outdoor scene data sets simultaneously. In addition, Mac has good generalization ability and can further boost deep learned methods. In our future work, we wish to develop a more trustworthy hypothesis evaluation technique as Mac can generate high quality hypotheses but may fail to find them currently. At last, we want to claim that and crafted methods can be great again, and they may need more attention, even in the deep learning area. Here are the links to our paper and the source code. Please feel free to contact us. This is all my presentation. Thank you for listening.